Hey y'all, welcome. I'm Candace, and in this video, I'm going to share what's coming up at Louis Vuitton, what's new at Louis Vuitton. I haven't done this video in a while. I did one of these and y'all seem to really like it. So I decided to do another one. There is lots to talk about just to let you know. So we're gonna get right into it. For reference, as always, I'm getting most of my information from Foxy LV. She's amazing with all of this upcoming stuff. I don't know what her deal is with Louis Vuitton, what her connection is, but I'm sure a lot of us are grateful for it because we get the tea, we get the information. So I'll be sharing my thoughts and everything on what's coming up. Gonna try to keep it in order as much as possible. So I'm gonna start off with Sunrise Pastel and Midnight Fuchsia. I don't even know if I should talk about these because they're kind of already out. I'm gonna briefly talk about them, okay? They came out a few days ago. By the time this goes up, it might be two days later. Okay. So I apologize, but the rest of it is upcoming, not out yet. So you can talk to your essay about it. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is the Sunrise Pastel. There is this Kirigami set, I believe that's what you call it. And it seems to come in all three of the color schemes from the collection. So it comes in the Sunrise Pastel, the Midnight Future, and I'm not sure what that third color scheme is, a little tiny one, but this set comes in all three. So. If you like every single color combination from the collection, this is a great way to get it because you get all three in one. The price of this is 1020 US dollars. I'm sorry, I always do this. <laughs> the SKU is, you know, M1 or M81271. As I mentioned, it came out April 15th. Also, if you like the Sunrise Pastel, here's some women's clothing that's coming out. There's this t-shirt with the ruffled sleeves. Not really a fan of that. There's this shirt that ties like a crop top. That's kind of cute. I don't really like the print on the front though. I like the colors. There's this tee. There's also this tee and this hoodie. Also these shorts, which look really cute. The drawstring and the gold zippers and detailing. There's this one piece swimsuit that's coming out. Also this gorgeous monokini. I really like this. I really like this color combination. Y'all know I love green, so yeah. Also the Sunrise Pastel color scheme. So if you like more of the pastel sunrise colors, there's another option for you. And then if you like bikinis, there are two options for you. Going back to Sunrise Pastel, here is another, or here's a wallet option that's available for you. This is $630. It's the, I think it's called the Zippy Coin card case, if I'm not mistaken. And as you see, it has two little sections. It has room for your cards. Also, there's a smaller monogram on the back of it and then the larger monogram on the front. So if you're a fan of both of those, you get two options. Now, if you don't really like the small one, there's the longer wallet. So you, you can get that one as well. So you can fit a lot more in here. Obviously, same kind of ordeal with the other wallet where you have the smaller monogram on the back and then the larger on the front. You can fit a lot more cards in this. There's even a zipper compartment in the middle. So this retails obviously for a bit more. This one is $9.90 and there's the smaller or the larger Sunrise Pastel wallet. Also, if you like this Sunrise Pastel color scheme, there's a cosmetic pouch also coming out, or it's already out, sorry. That retails for 705. Now, I know y'all waiting on the bags, so I'm not gonna hold you much longer. There is this on-the-go GM tote that comes in a Sunrise Pastel color, retails for $3,500 and absolutely gorgeous. Y'all know I really like the on the go tote. Even though I'm not much of a tote girl, I certainly love it more than the Neverfull. And I don't think it comes with like the pouch like the Neverfull does, but it seems to have a lot of room, obviously. It has an interior zipper, it has two pocketed compartments and very roomy inside, very structured. So if you don't really like the non-structure of the Neverfull, this is a great option. Now, if you're tired of me bad mouth and the Neverfull, there's a Never Fool in this collection as well. And that retails for $27.10, which is crazy considering what the Never Fool price used to be. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So this is what that looks like. It obviously comes with a matching pouch. So if you want both options, some of y'all love this pouch that comes inside. I don't really blame y'all. You know, for the price you're paying, you should get as much as possible if you ask me. So this is the Never Fool MM, by the way. A few more bags from the Sunrise Pastel. This is called the Marshmallow or Marshallow. I don't know if that's a typo. We're gonna go with Marshmallow. It retails for $27.80, okay? So it's in like a hobo, hobo style. Really structured at the bottom. It's kind of flat, so it sits flat. It has a longer strap, shoulder strap, in case you wanna wear it crossbody or just a longer shoulder bag. And this is what that looks like. You can totally remove the longer strap. If you just want the hobo vibe, you can definitely do that. It has that interior pocket, gold hardware. Next, the also popular Papillon BB is also in this collection, the Sunrise Pastel color scheme. 
This retails for $29.10, has that longer utility strap, which y'all know how I feel about it, but okay. Has an attached card coin case or coin case. Looks like this. Obviously you can take the utility strap off and put a whole nother strap on there. Although I don't know if they're selling like a separate Sunrise Pastel strap. So you're gonna have to put something random on here, which I don't know how that's gonna look with this, but just to let you know, it's an option. You can take the strap off if you really want to. I would want to, I know that, but that's what that looks like. In case you're like me and you like the on the go, but you don't really like the bigger size, you want the smaller one. There's also an on the go PM that is in this collection. That is $3,400, absolutely beautiful. If I should say so myself. Also, if you like the petite side plat, there's a gorgeous one. One that is really nice. It's $1,930, $1,930. And that's in the Sunrise Pastel color scheme as well. And in case you wanna see an exhaustive list of every bag that is in this collection, here they are right here. They are canvas, not leather. This is what Fox LV says, and the prices are higher, but whenever there's a price increase, of course, they're gonna be more expensive. No type of speedy, no mini pochettes in this collection. That's disappointing. I really could have gotten a mini pochette, but I'm glad I don't have to. These are all the bags that are coming out in their respective colors that they're releasing in. So there's also a Never Fool in this Midnight something. <sighs> color scheme. I forgot again, but also a Papillon BB in that darker color scheme as well, if you like that. Okay, enough with stuff that's already out. Let's talk about new stuff that's coming up because... That's the stuff you can more than likely get your hands on if you really try. So if you're a fan of Dami Azor, you might want to go take a look at these because there are some SLGs that are releasing in Dami Azor. I'm not quite sure if bags are coming out as well. She says that these are releasing April 28th. As of now, we don't know of any bags that are coming out. So this is what I have or what she has currently. Dami Azor, there's the Sarah wallet that retails for 940 and the Product code is N45296. You should be able to see this in a screenshot, but I just want to tell you. But this is the longer wallet, the fold-over wallet with the snap closure. And it's 45296 fit some cards in there. You can put cash receipts. There's also a zipper compartment if you want to put coins. So gorgeous pink interior. I really like this. If you like longer wallets and you like Dami Azor, you might want to check this one out. If you don't really like the longer wallet, there's a smaller one called the Victorine. This retails for $6.90 and that's what this one looks like. If you're not a fan of those prices, you just want a card holder, okay? There is a card holder for $3.35 and that's what this one looks like. The Dami Azur with this one, I'm not even sure if they're calling it Dami Azur. It's Dami Azur as far as the colors of everything, but there's this little pink and gold accents on these pieces that's slightly different from what we're used to seeing. So maybe call something different. I don't know, Dami Azur, I don't know. I don't even know, but they're doing something different. I don't know if that's something they're gonna continue with the Dami Azur or if they're gonna go back to the old one. Cha, I don't know. You, we never know, okay? There's also this Felici that's 1,620 and it has the same Dami Azor print on the front. I'm calling it that because I don't know what they're calling it. And it also has, you know, gold chain, gold hardware, all of that. So that's it for that little collection. That's all I have at this point. Quickly happen back to the pastel sunset and then the midnight color version. There's the sunglass case too I had to share with you. I thought it was really cute. It's called the Otui GM. It retails for 625 and has a purple interior and it zips around. I really like that. Okay, so there is this collection coming out May 13th. I'm not exactly sure of the name of it, but it's like this soft terry cloth material with all the pieces. This is the first bag from the, the collection. This is the Louis Vuitton Match. Well, I guess it's called the Louis Vuitton Match Collection. Never mind. So here's the Speedy 20 and it comes in this gorgeous blue color. It doesn't have a price yet. I can only imagine what that's gonna be, but it has white leather. I guess it's treated leather. I can imagine it is. I can imagine it being Vachetta, but I think the white handle is the white strap. It's a horrible idea as well as the terry cloth, but whatever. You can take the straps off. That's what most of y'all care about, I guess. It also has an interior pocket and yeah. In the same color scheme, there's also a Palm Springs Mini that also comes out on the same date. I only have euros for this. I think in US dollars is gonna be two grand plus, but in euro or pounds rather, it's 1880. But this is what it looks like. I think it's cute, but terra cloth, I just can't. With the white straps, I just can't. But I'm sure some people like it. Y'all always do. <laughs> this seems like 
It's similar to the Papillon BB, but for some reason I feel like it's not. I feel like it's more like that bag that came out in the men's collection. I can't quite remember. The Keep All Extra Small, maybe, what it's called. But there's also a green terry cloth on this collection. And this bag, the black is much better, in my opinion. You don't have to worry about, you know, staining and all of that. I don't know if I would buy this bag. Even though it's black and I like the black better, I don't really like the black with the green and white. If that makes any sense? I don't know. But... Is a better idea than the white, if you ask me. But the straps for that, there's not a longer strap. There's only two shorter straps, sorry. Gold hardware. And that's what the material looks like up close. Yeah, that's that. If you like the green, there's also this micro Matisse that's coming out. So think of the pochette Matisse, except micro size. 1,370 pounds. You know what? <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with that. I don't, okay, whatever. Let's continue with the clothing because I don't have any more bags at this point, but I'm sure there are others. So here's the women's clothing that's come out in this collection. Different options. You have some coat options, some jacket options, obviously, because it seems like it's kind of pushing into fall, although it's coming out in May. Y'all know, you know, these fashion houses do things early as far as releases, but there's some dresses, some polo shirts, some bra uh, bralettes, whatever you want to call them. I love this crop design that they're doing. Like, look at this green one here. Oh my God, I really like that. It's like a damier verde. Verde is green in Spanish. We gonna see, I don't know. I, I really like that shirt though. And then skirts and pants, which really have no stretch for me. So there's no point in me even trying to get any of that, especially now I'm being pregnant. But that crop top, that crop shirt, I'm going to take a picture of this and send to my essay because I really want that shirt. It comes out in May too. One, I like green and two, I love crop tops too. Back to this match collection. Or oh, I'm still in the match collection. I never left it. So there's this bag that's coming out. I forgot what it's called. It came out in the previous collection too. But it's this orange terry cloth, again with the white leather. This is what that looks like. Gold hardware. And I think this one is adorable. Y'all know I love orange. I don't have an issue with white with these colors. It's just the white leather. I just, I don't, I don't know. I just feel it being a disaster. Like the terry cloth, in my opinion, is already a disaster. You have to be super careful with this if you decide to get any of these because of the terry cloth automatically. And again, I don't have any prices, so I can only imagine how much it's gonna be. All right, if you like bag charms, this is an adorable one. This green one, like a lime green, is 560 pounds and it's also in a collection. So in the match collection, there's also this Vivian Tennis. I think this is like some type of gift set or something. I don't even know, okay. It's 1,950 pounds in case you're interested. I just want to show you because it's a part of the collection as well. All right, I'm gonna start talking about fall winter 2022. This is coming out April 28th. I guess this is like a pocket organizer that's coming out. It's like a red, white, and blue type of color scheme. So 4th of July, yeah, that's a pocket organizer. It has a red interior. I don't like this color combination. I like the color combination. I like the American flag and all of that. But as far as, well, I guess I can't really say that because I have my pre-fall stuff from last year or I have my Vanity PM that's red, white, blue, and black. But I don't like this one because it says Louis Vuitton. It's not like monogram, you know? If I had to guess, this is a men's collection because pocket organizers typically don't release in women's collections. But as you know, you can wear what you want. It doesn't even matter. If you don't like the pocket organizer, there's also this multiple wallet that's 550 pounds and also comes out same day, same collection. Also in this collection, there is a keep all 50B. This is what that looks like. I imagine this also being a disaster, especially traveling with it. Can you imagine getting the white leather, like dirty, like tossing it on the belt and stuff with TSA and all of that. Ooh, I can't imagine, but that's also coming out. If you like the Trail Messenger bag, that one's 2010 pounds. It's coming out same day. Not bad if you like this color scheme. I like the Trail Messenger in general. I think it's a great, you know, alternative to the multi pochette accessoire that we have in our line, like the women's line. But Trail Messenger is also good. It's more utility style, it's more, you know, kind of masculine. But I still really like it. It's something I would get. I had it on my wish list at one point, or not for this one, but for a different one. I think it's like Damier Graphite. And it's such a pain in the ass to get. So I just gave up. I was like, you know what? It's not that serious. 
This bag is not that serious. There's other bags I want more, so we'll stick with those. There's also this racer backpack. Now I'm a huge fan of when the men's pieces have the silver chain. I know a lot of people don't like the silver chain. I really like it. I think it's a nice touch. We have gold, okay? Silver is nice too. Like don't sleep on silver. And this racer backpack is 26, 30 pounds if I didn't say that. And it's also part of the collection. There's also this double zip card holder. It has a cool little side attachment. I'm not really sure if I like that side clip because you can't hide it, you can't get rid of it. It's kind of stuck there, stuck in position, it looks like it. This is 530 pounds and it has two zips along the top. You can just put some stuff in there. There's no slots or anything, it's kind of a mess in my opinion, but I guess. Also, there's the zippy wallet. This retails for 765 pounds, it's a longer wallet. This, however, does have card slots. It does have room to put stuff, but there's no zipper on the inside, so you can't really, or oh, it does have a zipper on the top. You can barely see it, but it's along the side there. So if you want to put coins, I don't know, loose receipts or something like that, business cards, you could put those in there. We could talk about bubble gram too, because I have two bags here that's coming out in the collection. That's all I have. I don't have any other information, but there's the bubble gram collection that's coming out April 28th as well. There's this Papillon kind of BB looking bag. I know I should know the name of this, but I don't, she didn't put it. So clearly it's not that. This is $29.80 and it comes in this gorgeous, seems like emprunt leather, possibly. Don't quote me on that. It's like this bubblegum pink, basically. And it has gold hardware, that utility strap that they just can't stop doing, but whatever. This one also has that damn utility strap. This is like more of a hobo style, also from the bubble gram, just a different color option. It's this gorgeous like blue color, the gold. I do like the colors against each other, especially the gold against that. Also comes in that bubblegum pink color and this kind of like a buttery yellow color too. All right, so there's this bandana mono collection that's coming out. I believe this is also men's because this is a pocket organizer. This is coming out in May at some point. This is 410 euros. I'm really sorry about the different currencies, but that's what I have. You know, you can easily convert it. You know, conversions change. So even if I convert it here, it could be different tomorrow. So this is coming out in May. I must say I really like this bandana print and I love the darker interior. I think that's the perfect contrast and a perfect combination with the colors. There are some things I really like from this. I do like the pocket organizer, but let me show you what I like. This is what I like. This is from Matt D74. He's also great about posting Louis Vuitton stuff, mostly Louis Vuitton men's, which I appreciate because there are some men's pieces I really like. This is the bandana, um, I should know what this is called. Soft trunk? Yeah, <laughs> that's what it's called. So this is what I like. That silver against this print, oh my gosh, yes. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know about the price. It's absolutely beautiful though. Oh my gosh, I really like it. Also from this collection, this is the Journey Tote PM. I also don't have a price for this. He didn't post anything, I'm sorry. This is a gorgeous tote bag. If you're into totes, this is a gorgeous, even for women, okay? So don't let the men sway you away from this. But I think it's really cute, especially if you're traveling. It looks great. It has a roomy interior. It has double handles. And I think it had a longer strap. Let's see. Yeah, it did. So you can remove that or you can keep it. So yeah. Also, there's the Bandana City Keep All. And this is what that looks like. Comes with a removable longer strap as well. There are no double handles or anything. There's only one strap. Has a bag tag on the front, so I'm sure you can like hot stamp it or get it hot stamped if you want. This has a pretty nice interior. It's not one of my favorites personally. I think it's, you know, a little too masculine for me. I like masculine pieces, but this is a little too masculine for me, but other people might like it. So these are the bandana monogram SLGs. I don't know if these are all of them. If I had to assume, I would say yes. So there's like this long, I don't know what you call men's collections pieces, but it's like this fold over wallet that a lot of men wear. My husband wears them. He's probably not gonna wear Louis Vuitton because he doesn't really like luxury too much. He doubles and dabbles into it, but he doesn't have to have all of that. But there are some wallets, the pocket organizer, which I showed you. And then there's, this is the bifold wallet, you know, with the different card slots. And I think, yeah, this is a longer wallet. The Braza, I think that's what it's called. That's what that one's called, yes. Okay. Also, there's this cool looking bag clip. I think it's a bag or bag charm. It has a clip at the top. It's a glove. It's so cute. I don't know. It has a zipper on the top too, so you can actually put some stuff in there, but it might get kind of stuck and trapped in the finger part of it. I don't know if the finger part 
or the finger parts of the glove are like closed off to where nothing can fall in there, but <laughs> it's ridiculous, but it's cute. There's also this belt looking bag that's coming out in the, the bandana mono collection. I'm not sure what it's called. I don't know the price. It is coming out in May though. I can tell you that. Okay, I know I said this is the last collection, but one more, okay? <laughs> I show, I'm sure y'all don't mind the new launches or whatever, but these are exotics that are coming out if you're into exotics. And it's this gorgeous metallic bronze color. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful the pieces are. It's so beautiful. I might be biased because I love metallics or metallic, especially like bronzes and golds. Yes, like everything about these colors are amazing. However, Louis Vuitton exotics are way out of my price range, okay? I don't even have to know the price to tell you. Exotic anything is probably out of my price range, but I just wanted to share it with you in case you're into exotics. So that's all I have for you today. As I get more information, I'll try to do these more regularly because I kind of missed some months in between, like when I did the last one versus this one. But let me know if you guys are planning on picking up anything from these collections. And I don't know if you already have some stuff from the Sunrise Pastel and the Midnight Collection and all of that good stuff. I will leave another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Talk soon. Thanks for watching.